<laughs> hey -o, that was awesome. Thank you for joining us, Carlos. Thanks. Yeah, we're super glad you made it. So, what'd you think? Thanks for the invite. I didn't know what to expect much from church, but it was a nice experience. Uh -huh. Hey! Would you want to come back? Oh. Yeah, for sure. I want to know more about God, especially after that prayer. Let's go. Well, why don't we chat about this a little bit later, because we got to go finish our speed drills, because Silver Lightning has got to get quick on his speed, right, Carlos? That's oh right. Silver Lightning. Michael, please don't ever call yourself Silver Lightning again. That's embarrassing. Whatever. You're just jealous because you don't have an awesome, super cool nickname. Ha! Okay. Right, right, right. That's that right. Well, That's right. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I have an idea though. Why don't we get together for lunch? Sounds okay. like a plan. I will All see right. you soon. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Gabby, Gabby, did you hear what Carlos said? Yeah, that he thought church was amazing. I knew he would think that. Oh, the last part, Gabby. Oh, the part about silver lightning. What's wrong with Michael? He really needs to stop calling himself that, well, and I'm definitely not jealous. Okay, not that part. The other part, Gabby. I don't know, Vera. What? What is it? Oh, the part where he said he wants to learn more about God because of the prayer. Gabby, I think he received Jesus as his savior. Oh, that part. Yes. Wow, Vera, we gotta find out if he did, but let's be cool about it. I don't okay, wanna okay. freak oh, yeah. him out. <clears throat> let's text Michael and make sure that he brings Carlos to lunch, okay? Great idea, let's go. Hey guys! Chris! Hey, back from work already? Yeah, I couldn't take the stress anymore. Kelly won't stop smiling ever. Mel and Steph never smile, no matter how hard I try. <laughs> and I really, really miss Melissa. Do you guys know when she's coming back? No. Well, anyways, how was uh, church? It oh. was absolutely amazing. Yeah, oh, it what was. made it so amazing? Well, first off, they have my favorite flavor of coffee, my favorite worship song. I got to sit in my favorite seat because usually this teenage boy takes my seat. I think he does it on purpose. But anyways, that's not even the best part yet. Vera, spit it out. I only have a 30 minute lunch break. Oh, for goodness sake, she's gonna take forever. Carlos came to church, you know, Michael's coach, mm -hmm. and we think he prayed to receive Christ. Yes. Oh, that's amazing. Right? Yes. I know. I and now wait. I think we need to get him a Bible, um, highlighters, a journal to, to write down everything he learns. But, there, slow down. You're getting a little overwhelming. Yeah. This is why I can't have her train the new hires. I know. Well, we're gonna find out more during lunch today, so we'll keep you posted. All right, sounds good. Oh, there goes my 30 minute lunch break. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye Chris. Chris. Wow, this place is nice. Yeah. Great Ew. job choosing it. But where's Carlos? Right. Oh, he's gonna join us in a little bit. He's taking a little long to, you know, get ready after that intense workout that we had. Takes a lot to train silver lightning. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, I guess we'll have to wait. Oh, you to I have wait. an idea. Yes. Let's play Kerplunk. Kerp. You had that in your bag? How did yeah. that fit I, in your bag? I have a lot of things in my bag. Wow. Okay, but Vera, we can't play this in the restaurant. There are no rules wait, against wait, it. I, yeah, we can play. Let's play. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Before we play, I need to record us just to make sure there's no cheating going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got my eyes on you both. Right. Exciting. Is it good? It's are recording. Ready. Red light is blinking. Awesome. We yeah. are ready to go. Okay, go. so this is how we're gonna play. All right. We are gonna each have a little basket. So okay. I'm number one, you're number two, you're number three. We are gonna pick one stick at a time, and then if any marbles drop, we're gonna put them in our basket. Okay, to keep track. Yes. Person with the least amount of marbles wins. Okay, here we go. Sounds good, no cheating. All right, I'll go first. Excited. Whoa! Oh! You see? Oh, dang. That's oh, look, one look, marble. it's stuck. It's stuck. It doesn't even want to go. Okay. One marble. That's for me. Oh, wait, wait. Put it in basket number three, please. Thank you very much. Okay. This is confusing because you got the numbers. Yeah, that's fine. This will be Michael. Okay. He cooled it. Oh, okay. one for you. One. Okay. Oh, Not Michael's your turn, ma'am. Not it's your turn. turn. All right, Michael, we're tied. I 
think it's I lost. safe to say that you lost. No, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. So put one, all the no 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 two. just do this just do this all of those are mine. Wait, that's Gabby's. No, that one's mine. I had one. That's Gabby's here. I'll put it. <laughs> all of those are mine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Gee, I wonder okay, I who the loser is. <laughs> There's like 20 marbles, I got 10. There's 10 left, Vera has five. If you've done the math, we know who lost. I wanna see it through the end, okay. Lose with dignity. Wow, who's in third place? Oh, oh are you not gonna do One wow. more for Gabby. Wow, only got two, I think I she's two. gonna be the winner. <gasps> Gee, does it, I mean, does it really matter which one I take? Because at this point I lost. So if I do this... Oh, it did matter. It did matter. It oh. makes a difference if you lose with 20 versus 15. I don't know. There, I, I am... That's it. You no lost. No matter what I do... No you went first, you're last. Can I just... You're going to take the... Ah! Woo! Go. I win! Yes! No, why don't you take your one I, marble? I will. I will. I'll take my one ah. marble. All right. Well, just oh. to count, why don't we do it? Because it looks like it's going to be a tight one Oh, man, yeah. And I. I have three. See. Which one do you have? No, you go first. No, you Should go I first. count it? Are you guys cheating? Should you I count? count. Why don't you okay. count? Why don't you Here count? we go. I'm, I, Here I'm we second go. place. You're my sure. three. I'm second place for sure. I am second place. Cheater. Mr. Lightning the Queen or whatever you are. <laughs> By a whopping one more one difference. <laughs> Am I and the winner! You, am I telling you because who got third place? The rules it? are whoever has the most marbles wins. No. Well, you had 15, she had 14. Yes! But what matters Second is place. that I have three. <laughs> Gabby, the winner of Kirkland! <laughs> Ta da! You know what's cool though? The Bible says that the first shall be last. So. Okay. That uh, was fun. You guys want to play again? And the last shall be first. So. Sure! Ta da! One more time. Mm -hmm. One more time. How do we reset this? So good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That so good. was delicious, you guys. Hey, uh, sorry I was a little late. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Of course. You guys are awesome to be around. And thanks for inviting me to church this morning. Hey, hey Carlos, I heard you say this morning that you wanted to know more about God. Yeah, well, after discovering what Jesus did on the cross for me, it made me think a little. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, right? For sure. So when they ask who wants to pray, I did. What? So no way. Awesome. I felt like it was the right time. Carlos, congrats, Thank bro. You. <laughs> you know, in Luke chapter 15, verse 10, it says that there is an entire celebration going on in heaven whenever someone chooses That's to right. decide to follow Christ. Is it weird to say that I feel a little different? No. No, actually, all. that's part of your new walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. Because when we discover something new, it can change you. It says in 2 Corinthians 5 that if anyone is in Christ, the old has gone and the new has come. So that's probably why you're feeling a little different. Feels pretty awesome. I just don't know what to do now. I would definitely start coming to church. Yes, and after church service, we can go to the gym and get a nice quick workout. It'll be like our Sunday routine. Hey you. <laughs> Actually, there is one thing that you can do, right? Now that you've accepted Christ in your heart, you should get baptized! Yeah, for oh, sure! I think I've heard of that. Yeah? yeah? Here, check this out. It'll explain everything. What exactly is baptism? Well, first let's talk about what baptism is not. Baptism isn't the same thing as being born again. It's not a way to get to heaven, and it doesn't make God love you any more than He already does. Baptism is simply a way to let everyone know that you've been born again and you've chosen to follow Jesus. It's pretty simple too. You'll get in some water and a pastor will say a few things. Then they'll dip you under and bring you right back up. That's all there is to it. Now you might be thinking, I would love to tell everyone that I follow Jesus, but why do I go under water? Wouldn't it be easier to tell people with like a megaphone? or a giant tattoo on my face? Well, the water is really just a symbol of what happens when we're born again. Going under the water represents our old life being washed away. Coming up out of the water shows that we are starting a new life with Jesus. We do it this way because it's the way Jesus did it. The Bible tells us in Matthew 3.13, 
how Jesus himself was baptized, just like this, when he was here on the earth. And since we want to follow Jesus in everything we do, being baptized is an important step to take after we make Jesus our Lord. Think of it like a jersey. When someone is on a sports team, they wear a jersey so that everyone can see which team they're on. When we're born again, we become a part of God's team. But we shouldn't just stop there. Being baptized is like putting on the jersey so everyone can see that we love Jesus and we've chosen to follow him. So if you've been born again and you haven't been baptized yet, what are you waiting for? It's time to put on your jersey and show everyone whose team you're on. Jesus got baptized, so we follow in his footsteps. That's right. The last thing that Jesus told his disciples was to go and tell everyone about him and to baptize fellow believers. And this has gone on for hundreds of years. And that's why people still today get baptized to show their belief in Jesus. Yeah. So you getting baptized is following a command that Jesus gave you. I feel like I'm ready. I want to get baptized. That's yeah. awesome. Let's go. Okay, we're going to talk to some of the pastors and we'll get it set up. Yes, and let us know when it is and we'll be there for your baptism. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We got a baptism today. Come on, come on. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Amen, amen. Well, man, real quick, I want to explain what baptism is to everybody who's watching right now. First and foremost, it's a first step of obedience after believing in Jesus. And we got somebody today who's going to do exactly that, which is Carlos. He's going to come down here in a second. But real quick, I want to explain what baptism is. Now, first off, the water doesn't save you. The water is just here. It's just regular bath water. You take a shower with this. There's nothing that changes. This water is normal. But what does change is what God does inside of your heart after you believe in Jesus Christ. And so, he, Carlos is doing exactly that. Carlos, you can come down here right now. In Romans chapter six. In Romans chapter six, it gives us an example. It shows us that the baptism is an outward expression of what God is doing inside of your heart. And so, in Romans chapter six, it's tell, it tells us that Jesus, as he was buried, we too, symbolically, are buried with him when we do baptism and we come up and just as the tomb was empty because Jesus resurrected, so is the symbolic of coming out of the water. And so that's what Carlos is gonna do today. Carlos, you can step right here. I don't want you to hit your head on that. <laughs> so you can hold there. So Carlos, in front of everybody here watching, do you say Jesus is Lord? Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. Let's give it up, let's give it up. Well, because you say Jesus is Lord, I now baptize you in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ, and race to life. Come on, come on. Come on, let's give it up for Carlos. Hey, everybody, this is an amazing thing. Can we pray for Carlos real quick? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, God, because Carlos took that next step, Lord. He's in that obedience, God, believing in you, Lord. You're stirring up his heart inside. And Lord, outwardly, Lord, he's expressing this. We thank you, God, for everything you're doing for him. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, let's celebrate. Woo. Congratulations again, Carlos. Yeah. We're so happy for you. And look, we got you a Bible so you can continue to go closer to God. Thanks. Hey I'm so thankful for you guys interrupting my training session with Michael all those weeks ago. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have never been invited to church. Well, I was going to invite you. Oh, please, Michael. All you were thinking about was becoming Silver Lightning. Yeah. Gabby, right. I already <laughs> am Silver Lightning. Oh All right? Gosh. Plus, I had a plan. I was just trying to ease him into it, and then I was going to invite him. But anyways, I'm glad that you joined us for church. Yeah. Well, how about we play some rounds of Kerplunk hey. and eat some cake to Ooh, celebrate? Sounds Let's good. do it. All right. Yeah, yum, yummy, yummy cake. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, that smells Ooh. good. Oh. That smells good. <laughs> we'll get a new mm. one. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm in the roughest water.
Chief Camp Counselor Danny here, and welcome to CF Kids Camp Counselor Training 101. Today we will be learning how to tie a reef knot. So first you grab your knot and you put... Hello, Chief Camp Counselor Danny here. Danny, we told you to share the things CF Kids need to know. Gabby? Oh, yeah, everyone needs to know how to tie a knot. No, need to know for CF Kids. Oh, okay. I guess we'll learn knots another time. All right, thank you, Gabby. Bye. There are some pretty cool need to knows for CF Kids, so listen up. You see this challenge card? If you complete seven out of the eight of these challenges, you'll get to pick a camptastic prize, so don't miss out. Next, we have our January family mission, our New Year's prayer. There is no better way to start off the year than with prayer. Here are the things you can pray for. First, pray for all the things the Lord wants to teach you this year. Pray for boldness to tell others about Him. 
pray for family and friends, and thank Him for all the blessings He has given you. We're so excited to see all that the Lord will do this year. CF Kids, attention! Have I got all your full attentions? Well, I need all your eyes and ears on me. I want to talk to you about something very important now. Baptism. Do you know what baptism is? Baptism is a symbol of your decision to follow Christ. If you want to know more about baptism, ask your small group leader or your kid's director to sign up for our baptism class. In this class, you will learn what baptism is and what is not, and also if you're ready to get baptized. See you later, CF Kids. Camp Counselor, out!